Hello everyone out there on the internet. I'm the toaster and today we're going to react to NF Wait. Now this is the third song in the NF journey that I'm doing. I have done a reaction to the new song Hope which just came out because I wanted to get on that buzz to feel like you know I did a new song but we're back to the official journey now. Um, so we've got Wait it's not featured featuring anybody, I do not think. But we've got the official music video here. Um, first song, Mansion, I loved it. Second song, which was All I Have, I liked it even more. Then I reacted to Hope, and that was my favorite so far, even though I'm sure a lot went over my head. But we're gonna do Wait now, and if it's anything like any of the other NF songs that I've done so far, it'll either be a tearjerker, super personal or just great rap so as always sorry about the camera quality i am broke at the moment looking for a job but once i do have enough money i will pour some into it and get a new camera get some upgrades get some better software all that jazz to make you guys have some better videos because i just want to give you guys quality content um and just grow as a community because it really means a lot to me to have people, you know, giving me new songs that I would have never heard of otherwise. So, I'm not going to talk too much. I'm just going to get straight into it. So this is NF Wait, the official music video. Link down in the description for if you haven't seen the video yet. Strongly suggest watching that before you watch me. Without further ado, let's kick it. Already. Wait, wait, don't leave me, wait, wait. And there's a girl there. Knowing NF, he's mentioned his mum in every song. Is it his mum? Could be a girlfriend, but I'm thinking it's his mum because it's wait, don't leave me. It's only 12 seconds in, obviously, but that's my initial guess. Also, sorry about pausing. I will be pausing a bit just to help avoid copyright. I don't want to risk doing it. Um... So if that's not your thing, please watch the other video. And I'm sorry, but that's just how I'm going to do it for now. Okay. It's a girlfriend by the sounds of it, or a wife, or someone, a significant other, because he said, girl, I can't leave you. And I don't think you'd call your own mum, girl, don't, yeah, I don't think you'd call your mum that. <laughs> so, it's going to be probably a breakup song, is my guess. Probably a tearjerker as well, because the visuals look really bleak, and that's like I've noticed of NF so far, He's, he really likes the dark colour tones, um... The lighting's really nice as well. I like how they've added the warm orange light there of the lamp. You got a small bit of sunlight coming in, but then the rest of the scene's pretty much just dark, grey and dreary, which I presume is to represent the video because it won't be a happy video. Why you leave? I can't lose you. I can't lose you. Girl, I need you. Girl, I need you. And don't you love me? Don't you love me? Guess you don't want me, you don't want me. We back and forth, yeah. This ain't working, this ain't working. Loving perfect, loving perfect. I love this. I don't know if this is going to be a hook or something, but if it is, I really enjoy it. It's got a... I don't know if he's layered his voice under it or if it's just some sort of auto-tune that he's doing, but it really fits the vibe of the song so far. Um, I think, yeah, it's definitely right about it being girlfriend, not his mum. That was a shun the dark, just to... because I've noticed he talks about it every video I've done so far. Um, but so far, I'm liking it, and the colours still, even here, orange light, orange light, 
natural light from the small gaps in the blinds, but otherwise it's just dreary. He's really good at setting a mood, which I've noticed. And with his raps in particular, he's good at painting a picture of how he feels and what he's going through. So adding that onto a, just a dreary video, it really makes it seem more intimate and real, is what I'd say. But it feels like it's I'm not too sure, it's hard to understand some of the lyrics, but I'm pretty sure he's saying I'm holding on to pieces of us and it's hard to let go. So, it's obviously a, I guess, someone he really loves, like not just like a fling or anything, it's a like girlfriend, lover, wife that he really likes and they've had an argument or something and he's obviously regretting it, which is another key theme I've noticed with NF, he talks about his regrets a lot. Not much to say, I'm mostly just pausing for copyright right now, but I will just add, it It still hasn't let me down in terms of the sound and instrumental. I'm really enjoying the background music with the little piano, which I've noticed NF does a lot as well, with the soft piano, and I've always been such a sucker for piano, it's one my favourite instrument all time. I did some of it in school, and occasionally I listen to classical music uh, with just piano, so uh, I, I can really appreciate some good, sad piano. And yeah, pausing, sorry about that, but copyright. You don't call that, you don't call that. Are you happy? Tell me, are you happy? Are you smiling? Are you smiling? Go happy, tell me, go happy. Cause I am done, I am done. Is he saying desperate kind of love and I just can't let go? If that's what he's saying, I'm not sure if that's exactly what he's saying, but if he's saying desperate type of love, I presume what he means by that is that he really needs her, like he's desperate for her, so it seems like he really needs her and it's harder to let go of her because I guess if it is desperate what he's saying, then I guess I can... I see where he's coming from because if you've got like a girlfriend or someone intimate that you're deeply connected to and you let them go all of a sudden, it can be really hard to let them just leave out of your life and it is desperate to let go. So I think if he is saying desperate to let go, he's talking about how he kind of depends on her and without her, he's kind of just struggling. Also, I've noticed he is still in his normal dark attire except He's got the work boots on and the brown jeans, I think they are. Um, so it's a bit different to everything else I've seen so far. I was kind of expecting to go in with just straight up dark clothes like he's done before. Um, but I think it's still good at representing, you know, the emotions he's going through. Especially with the video clip being so dreary as it is. Ooh, he's rapping, rapping now. 
All right. I really loved the chorus of a hook, whatever you guys call it now. Um, it's not my favorite one so far from the NF. I think my favorite is Mansion at the moment. Although I did like all I have, that was very dreamy. But Mansion's probably the best one for me so far. Um, but the sounds, the layering, the instrumental, the sort of, uh, I don't know what it is. It might be a synth, I think, but he's got that in the background, which really works, especially when it, the music drops because it goes. Doo -doo 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 -doo. So I really like that part as well. Overall, it hasn't been that like rap intensive, but it sounds like he's going to go into that. So hopefully I do catch some bars because I'm new to this entire hip hop scene and I'm probably going to miss a bunch of shit. It's awesome. We don't wanna have a conversation. We don't wanna think about it. We just wanna fake it. We just wanna act like everything is great. Go back to the day, watch your movies in a base. And the problem is now, I feel like everything is changed. And I'm trying to make a living on the music, but I feel like every time I look at you, I'm in a place. It's hard to be the man of the house when you ain't got a house. So I, hate I see. Okay, so he's saying like it's hard to be the man of the house when you don't have a house. He's talking about how they're trying to pretend like nothing's wrong. Which is often the worst thing to do if there is something wrong in a relationship. Um, pretending that everything's fine when it's not instead of talking about it. it. It always leads to this scenario where they're having a break from each other and you both get desperate. And I think this is what stems from that desperation is the fact that they haven't had these intimate talks with each other about how they actually feel. And if they just talked about it, maybe they wouldn't be as desperate. But since they kind of keep it under the wraps, uh, hide it from each other, don't talk about it, try and pretend things aren't bad, it makes it more desperate for them to get back together to actually have this communication. So I think that's what he's trying to portray here. He's portraying like lonely in this apartment, desperate to talk to her. And he's been desperate to talk to her, but he wasn't before. You know, he he's desperate now to talk to her, but from what the lyric is saying, before they didn't talk about it, they just pretended it was fine. So I think this is where a lot of breakups lead to. You start thinking, oh, we should have talked about this. We could have been better together, stuff like that. I love that flow. And I presume he's going to go again. But it's a very easy to follow flow so far, which I enjoyed because I'm not good at fast rapping yet. I haven't learned how to handle listening good enough for that. So these easy smooth bars I appreciate I'm sitting in a hotel room like why call your phone and apologize gotta be a way we can make this right we can make this right I'm holding on to pieces of us that I just can't let go I love this chorus Something NF does a lot, which I've noticed already, is he, in like the last hook, he does the like background voice, like an ad lib sort of, uh, repeating the lyrics. So throughout the song, he does the, the hook, the chorus, uh, just plain straight through. But in the last one, he adds a, like a little bit higher, where you going in the background, which really adds a lot of, I'm going to say layers, but I don't think that's the right word I want to use. But it really adds a bit more emotion to it, I'd say, because the background line is a lot more cry out for helpy, if that's the right phrase to use. Just 
Yeah, that's kind of love. But it feels like it's home. Wait. Did you say this? Oh, like, uh, let me go back. So I've got. Love, but it feels like it's home. Is he saying it feels like it's home or it feels like it's whole? I couldn't really catch that. He's got the white shirt in this, probably because of a new album coming out, I presume. I really enjoyed that. It wasn't my favourite one, but I could see it being on a playlist still. Um, I, I can't really relate as much to this story, because all my breakups I've had haven't been really desperate to get part, uh, back together. They've all really just been... To not toxic. They've been very abrupt, uh, argumentative. I'd say toxic in some ways, because one of them I got ghosted and I haven't heard from her since. Uh, so it was really abrupt, and that left me for like months and months feeling terrible. Nothing's worse than ghosting someone, guys. Don't do that, please. It, it's best just to tell them that you're over. Like, I wasn't even told that we're breaking up. She just said, I'm done with this and ghosted me, blocked me on everything, changed her number. I couldn't find her ever since. So that's not something you should ever do. But this sort of breakup, I can still see it being super hard because it seems like even the girl in this video isn't too happy about being apart from him. But if if love shows anything, it's that sometimes a break is stronger for a relationship because people find out that they should communicate more and communication really is the most important part of having a relationship never underestimate it and never keep something from your partner because it will bite you in the ass so that was nf wait the third song in the journey that i've done so far i enjoyed it it was really good i loved the hook the hook was what standed out to me out of everything I just wanted to kind of close my eyes and let it absorb into me. Um, the message behind it is very personal. I'm sure a lot of people can relate to it, uh, if, especially if they've been through this sort of breakup. I haven't, but I'm happy about that. Personally, I'm not upset that I haven't related to the song, but it's still not a tearjerker for me, but it was still like a pang, not pang. There was a from is that the way you say there's a from of my heart string heart strings i think that's the saying i might be wrong but that was nf8 uh the official music video link in the description if you have any recommendations leave them in the comments because i love learning new music and i want to experience it all with you guys um like subscribe if you enjoyed if you didn't that's fine i don't blame you it's pretty awkward setup at the moment but Stick around if you want more, because I'm on average releasing three reactions each day, sometimes four if I'm on a bad day too. But I'm going to try and do at least two reactions a day. Um, NF Journey is going to keep going, probably one NF, one NF song each day. At the moment, I'm probably going to do one Joji song a day as well, and then I'm going to do one random artist. So, like recently, I did Vinjay, NF, and Joji. I might do NF, Joji, and whoever next time. I've got a couple artists that people want me to check out. Um, I'll read them real quick. I've got Chris Webby, Hobson, and Jake, J-V-K-E. So those are the ones I've got kind of lined up, ready to go. I'm not sure which order I'm going to do them in, but I'll probably do a little break after this maybe release another reaction later tonight it's currently seven i don't have a watch on it's currently 7 a.m for me so probably around late afternoon five four something like that and then another one about 1 a.m 12 a.m something like that so expect at least one more nf song one more judgy song and then one random artist which i'll decide later 
So thanks for watching everybody, I hope you enjoyed. I will end it there, I've already said everything I need to say. Uh, I'll catch you later.